Forensic science is really the application of scientific methods to the investigation of crime. We're looking at decomposition of bodies in the sea and looking at bacteria that colonise those bodies. At the moment we don't have a scientific method to determine how long a body has actually been in the water for in a forensic context. So this is classic augmented reality where you're able to take a real object, like in this case the comic book, and overlay virtual content on the page of the object. Ah, kids would love this. This would be useful for... Oh, Lots right. of things. Yeah. For example, in Christchurch with the quake we've just had, an architect could use this for town planning, for example. Right. And you could walk down the street and you could see what it feels like with the new design buildings. Awesome. Green chemistry is chemistry where there's minimised waste, where there is minimised energy utilisation. And also, if you can, from sustainable raw materials, you're going to derive the precursors for the chemistry. When you look at the amount of plastics that are used internationally, this could be a very large market indeed. I've taken a, a bug, this here, this is Synecocystis. Now this does photosynthesis, which is what plants do, and it makes sugar from sunlight. And what I've done is basically reprogram it, and that program tells it how to take sugar and turn it into butanol. So you've essentially made like a biological fuel factory? Yeah. We really don't know enough about our oceanic resource. We don't know how many species we have. I mean, I said we have 17,000 species that we know about, but we expect tens of thousands of additional species out there that are still undiscovered. We used submarines to find these amazing rock sponges that lived on the continental shelf of, of the Bahamas. And some of those sponges contained chemicals, which are currently in clinical trial, for the treatment of cervical cancer in human females. Now, I mean, how does that work? <laughs>